The door of a safe closes and the burglars stay out, right? But how exactly does that work? Stick around to the end of this video to find out. Whether it's a curious child, a less than responsible teenager, or a malicious thief, you don't want anyone touching your stuff without your permission. But how do safes and cabinets stay shut? In this video, we're gonna take a look at the mechanisms that make a safe safe, the burglar resistance, as well as determine if some locking systems are better than others. Gun cabinets come in a few different styles, shapes, and sizes. Some are made of wood and some are made of steel, but nearly all of them lock using a similar mechanism, a basic key-operated latch. Much like the lock you might find on a file cabinet or a desk drawer, the gun cabinet latch is all self-contained. It consists of the lock and tumblers and a small metal bar that is either engaged or withdrawn by turning the key. The lock itself is simple, just a small bar between your firearms and unauthorized access. It will keep most miners out, but more determined individuals can get in pretty easily with some common tools. Having been the industry standard for well over 100 years, logging bolts, also known as long pins, are used on everything from tiny hotel safes to massive commercial safes. These security measures are constructed by attaching the round pins to a steel angle bar, then attaching that angle bar to the locking mechanism. Operating the lock on the outside of the safe engages the locking mechanism, which moves the angle bar, which then moves the pins in and out of place. Logging bolts offer a high level of security with one drawback. The attachment that holds the pins to the angle bar presents a potential weak point. During pry attacks, this point takes most of the pressure and often it bends or breaks, allowing the door to just be simply opened. In an effort to overcome the security problems of latches and bolts and of weak connection points in particular, some engineers have gone back to the drawing board. The result, military style locking bars. These bad boys are made from a solid piece of steel, lack pry and bus connection points and offer more surface area of contact with the door frame. With these powers combined, you've got a security system stronger than the rest that's virtually impossible to get past. Now, the only question left is which one is right for you? To help you answer that, I've attached a download in the description below outlining all the material we've talked about today. And before you head out on that shopping trip, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I like it when people subscribe to our channel. It just warms my heart. Anywho, stay safe out there and catch you later.